We got seven men on the outside. Repeat, seven inmates gone rabid. Get the dogs! My name is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead. Inmates over the wall! Let's go! Let's go! First thing you learn in this business, cover your back. This recording is my insurance. New assignment, Paxton. You're going undercover at Fox River Penitentiary. Come on, boss. Prison? Your subject is Lincoln Burroughs. We framed him for the murder of the Vice President's brother. Buried him good. But now his kid brother's in the mix. Michael Schofield, clean-cut kid, genius type. Suddenly holds up a bank and gets himself sent to Fox River. We need to know what he's up to. Secret Service? Or is the company pulling the strings? Company business. We worked hard to put Burroughs in the ground. We need to know if Schofield's gonna mess that up. You don't like me, do you, Maddox? Not much, but this has nothing to do with that. Observe and report, that's your mission. No rough stuff. Anyone finds out I'm an agent, I'm dead. What's my cover? Murder one. I did you a favor. Could have made a child molesting. And Paxson, leave the voice recorder behind this time. This ain't summer camp, kiddies. Roll call. Fiorello. Back again, dumbass? Looks like it, boss. Shut up, stupid. All I want to hear is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Schofield. Yes, sir. Paxton. You playing games, son? Look at me and call it out. You got to learn to listen, Con. Yes, sir. Place is pretty intense, huh? It's prison. They got some real hard cases here. The South Side Butcher, the guy who killed the VP's brother. I wouldn't know. Don't talk much, do you? And you don't shut up. This is prison. I'm not here to make friends. Jones, open up the gate. Okay, animals, get your ass inside and meet your new pal, Officer Bellick. Just think of Bellick as your new cruise director. Hey, watch your step. Hey, I didn't do it, man. Shut your pie holes, ladies, and listen to Patterson. Welcome to your new home, convicts. We're taking off your cuffs. But don't try anything, cute. One false move and you'll do your time hog time. Now move on down the hall to our VIP welcome center. Hurry up, boys. You don't want to keep Bellic waiting. Faster, move your ass! There isn't any flying under my radar. We're done here. Move along. You're next, fish. Name and back number. Paxton Thomas, 133709. You playing games, Paxton? 
Not me, boss. Good, cause any games that go on in here, I win. Now swim along, guppy. Let's go. Follow me. Wait here. Hey, fish, watch it. You up the stairs now. <laughs> Save you ass. Come Close closer, and you get a prize. Schofield, get in. Sucra, you got a new friend. Make him feel at home. Close 40. Paxton, you're next. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fishy eye cocked. Avocado, cut the crap. Break it up. I don't exist. I'm an agent for the company, an organization who keeps the world stable by controlling economies and telling countries not to blow each other up. Burroughs is a small pawn in a bigger game. The company needs him to go on ice, on schedule, and that's what's gonna happen. My mission is to observe and report, but you don't send a guy like me to a place like this unless you're expecting to see some blood spilled. Here's hoping it's not mine. One thing about Schofield, his tattoo. Looks more like a Southside banger than a structural engineer. What's up with that? Get him! You're a dead man! Hey, cut the crap, convicts! Get him to the shoe! About the shoe boss. Ain't me the one that started it. Please. I'm claustrophobic. You're violating my rights. Oh, yeah? Call your lawyer. Oh, wait. No phones in the shoe. <laughs> First time inside? Yeah. Here's some advice, fish. There's two kinds of time, hard and easy. Hard time is being locked up all alone in the secure housing unit, the shoe. Easy time is, well, easy. Which kind you want? Easy sounds good. Smart man. Now see Teabag over there? He's been crossing me up, just begging for some hard time. Go pick a fight with him, and I'll know you and me got an understanding. Don't do it. And it's the shoe for you. Hey. 
Dig it up, convict! I'm coming after you, teabag. I suggest you equip yourself with more than those two sticks of licorice. <laughs> we'll see about that. You teabag, we need to talk. Oh my, does the pretty little guppy need protection in this big bad aquarium? I go my own way. This little pond you call your turf, I get free passage. Guppy wants to swim in my pond. Guppy's got to pay maintenance and upkeep. Less you want us to fight, and for that, I don't think you have the requisite testicular proportions. Bag. You just got your country ass a one-way ride to the show! Ah, the light begins to dawn. Like the song says, looks like I've been set up like a bowling pin. Watch your back, milk chicken. Taking on tea bags is a sure way to gain some respect of the brothers in this place. And you can throw your fist, white boy. My name is C-Note. Now, how would you like to earn some rain? What do you got in mind? There's Mr. King. He runs the fights. Everyone's in on it. Even the guards. You lose, bad news. You win, you grin. Hey, King, I found a hot one. The boy can punch. <laughs> Big man wants to earn, huh? I'll take a shot. See, you know what? I ain't taking any more of your fighters till I get the meds you owe me. When we are all right, your boy can fight. Listen, Snowflake, my connection hit my stash in the boiler room, but got himself shanked before he told me where. Find those meds for me, and you get to fight. Even on the inside, cash is king. Fighting to get money might help me get closer to Schofield.
pharmacy delivery. Good job, Snowflake. Now you got potential, white boy. Hit the heavy bag, do some burners, you could do all right. Meantime, you ever want some tats, bring me the cash. I'll ink you up righteous. What about the new guy, Schofield? What about him? His tattoo. Ain't my work, but I know it's fresh. Michael? What the hell are you doing here? Roll it up, Burroughs! I'm breaking you out, Link. Impossible. Not if you design the place. But first, I gotta get into prison industries. Burroughs! I said move your ass! <laughs> Schofield's planning a prison break. No details yet. I gotta tell Mannix. Here's the deal with Schofield. He wants to bust his brother out. No way. That place is like Fort Knox. I know, but Boy Genius has a plan. It involves prison industries. I gotta get in there. Bathing? Maintenance? Crap like that? Talk to Charles Westmoreland. He'll know how to get you on a work crew. Charles Westmoreland? I know you. I knew your wife before she passed. You knew Marla? You mean Anne. How'd you know her? I was the janitor in her school. East Farmington. You mean West Wilmington. Okay, no more tests. You want to learn the ropes? Look around. Trey Street Deuce has got hoops. Norteno's got handball. Wood's got the weight pile. Then there's Bellick and his boys. Dirtiest gang in the whole place. Only difference between us and them is the badge. Thanks for the tour, but I need to get into prison industries. Ah, uh, that's a string I can't pull. You need John Abruzzi. He runs P.I. Abruzzi? The mob boss? Right over there, son. Time to go kiss the ring. Thanks.
more fighting. Unless the CEOs get a piece of the action. Now get inside! I hear you're the man to talk to about P.I. Who the hell are you? Someone who needs a favor. Funny. That fish Schofield just asked me the same thing. Beat it! I don't do favors. Then maybe we can do business. Any chores you need done? Bello, let's see if you can swim, fish. One of my guy's teats I hear is turning rat. But I gotta know for sure before I exterminate him. Okay, what's the play? I've seen him talking to Bellic. Check the seal's locker in the file room, see what you can find. Talk to me. Abruzzi's still running his family from the inside. He gets coded letters about the weekly takes, the big scores. I can tell you what they mean. Hand it over. I'll squeeze our Abruzzi like a fat chick's ass. So, I'm still good here? As long as you keep feeding me the good stuff, ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Bellic is pumping teats in exchange for protection. I've got to get my hands on that letter. Hey, where'd he come from? Hey, Lewis, you going up to admin? Put this on my desk. No problem. Davis, command some stairwell check in the basement. You copy? Got it. I'm on the top floor. I'll clear it and work my way down. Hey, Louie. You punching out? Need to talk with Becky, and then I'm gone. Talk? Right. Shut up, moron. Hey, Becky. Hey, Louie. How are you? Easy like a truck stop hooker. 
Can I help you with something? Well, my uniform pants are getting kind of tight. We can't have our officers restricted in their movements. That's what I was thinking. It's a security matter. Come with me. I'll see what I can do. We're gonna get caught. By who? The warden. Baby, right now, right here, I am the warden. Yo, new guy! A bruise's waiting for you in the showers! You spied on me, bastard! Now you die! Ugh! 
Teats was selling you out, John. I'll kill that traitor. He's not going to be talking for a long time. You've earned your way into P.I., my friend. I made it into P.I. Now I can keep an eye on Schofield and figure out what he's up to. Trouble's coming. Someone's going to flee. Something is brewing. Whites and blacks are gonna go at each other real soon. I gotta watch my back. Ain't nobody gonna hang back! Out of my face! You hear the trumpets. It's jumping off. Gonna be some blood. Break it up, ladies. What's up, Snowflake? <laughs> You've been taking me for a fool? What are you talking about? I've seen you up there hanging with the Hitler Youth, walking the walk. It, it's not what you think. They've got something I need. That's funny. I got something you need, too. You need your pug now, don't you, Snowflake? It's all yours. Looks like your white boy luck just ran out. Move it! Everyone to the yard, now! <laughs> yeah. Schofield wants Pugnak, insulin blocker. Nothing in his file about that, so he must be up to something in the infirmary. I gotta check that out. Schofield, infirmary, now. What's up?
Oye, avocado is out in the hall. He's in a nasty mood. I want to go get something to calm him down, okay? Michael Schofield, right? I'd like to run some tests next time you're in. Last thing I want is to be administering insulin to a man that doesn't need it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Avocado cut the crap! What's happening here? Avocado's losing it again! Hmm. Schofield is diabetic. Comes every day for insulin shots. So what's with the pug neck? He's faking it. The infirmary is part of his plan somehow. I gotta phone this into Mannix. You're done in the infirmary? Back in the yard! Schofield is taking drugs to get daily access to the infirmary. I don't know why yet. Find out more, dammit. Stop Schofield any way you can, but don't mess with Burroughs. He's got to go to the chair as scheduled. Anything else will bring people sticking their noses into places we don't want them. Hey, champ. What? War's coming and looks like you're wearing the wrong color skin. Someone might make a mistake, think you a Nazi, cut your ass to gullet. Am I right, brothers? Right. right. We could let that happen, or we might could make sure it don't. You want me to do something for you, right? <laughs> See now, you and me are on the same frequency already. I need to get me a good supply of a drug called Pugnac. They stash it in the loony bin. I get it for you, you watch my back. Like you was from the hood. Deal. You sure it's in the asylum? Yeah, secure cabinet. You're gonna need a lockpick. And be careful of them J-Cats. Them boys, it's cr If anyone knows where to get a lockpick, it would be a Brutzi. Hi, John. How's Teats? Still not talking. I need a lockpick. What do I look like? A hardware store? No, you look like the man in charge. Got that right? Tell you what, Fiorella lost his shank, he's gonna need one when the feces hits the fan. You get me a solid kitchen knife, I'll get you a lockpick. Got it. You bring it to me outside the kitchen. I got a crew there painting walls.
Birds are burning! Wow, good work, Paisano. This should cut right through some of that dark meat. Guess I'll call off those guys I told to shank you. <laughs> it was a joke, Fish. Very funny. Here, a lot of memories in this one. Take good care of it. I've got the lockpick, so I'm ready to go after the Pugnack for C-Note. Next stop, Crazy Town.
same sprinklers are leaking again. I shut off the main valve while they work on them. What are you doing? They catch you here, you'll be in the shoe for months! Thanks, old man. Yo, champ! What happened to you? You're Pugnack. You're like the mailman, bro! You always deliver. Nobody can stop what's coming. But me and my boys will look out for you best we can. Heads up! Batter up, cons! Stand your gate! T-Bag, get back on your number! I need backup! I said back on your number! Manic still wants more on Schofield. I saw Sucre and Schofield arguing during the riot, and now Sucre is moving in with me. 
Maybe I can pump him for information. Paxton, meet your new Sally. Get in there, Sucra. You girls play nice. Paxton, right? Yeah. You and Schofield have a falling out? Yeah. We're history. What's with him and his tattoos? <laughs> He's local, man. I'd like to get a better look at him. They look like real art. You want to talk with him? See Abruzzi. He's the one that manages PI schedules. Hey, Sucra. I put that whack job haywire in with Schofield. This ought to be worth some laughs. Paxton, time for P.I. Hey, Paisano, I need a favor. Bellic puts haywire in Schofield's cell. He's a little, you know. No telling what it might do. I got a vested interest in Schofield. I want haywire out of there pronto. Beat it. I don't do favors. You catch on quick, fish. Maybe we can do some business. Anything you need these days? How about some time alone with Schofield? Why? You don't need to know. Okay, fine. You get Haywire out of there, and I'll arrange some quality time for you and Schofield. But don't hurt him. I got something in mind for that boy. Any suggestions for moving Haywire? He takes meds. Crazy meds for his head. Switch them with rat poison pills from chemical storage, and he'll be sent to the infirmary. On the right track. I'll get a one on one with Schofield after I switch Haywire's meds with rat poison. Maybe I can bluff Schofield into revealing more about his plans. I'm open for business. Looking for a tat. Let's do it. Looking to earn. Let's go. Looking for a tat. Let's do it.
so you hate doing maintenance here in Fox River, eh, Bataglia? No, sir, I don't. Really? It's just a job, same as any other. Then move your lazy ass, meatball! Don't touch me! Don't take my brain! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Keke? Full moon again? Calm down. I got 20 cc's of Shutter Yopo right here. Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Come on, punch it! Haywire's on his way to the infirmary. Did you set up the meat? Schofield's in the shed. He's all yours. Don't make me come looking for ya. Abruzzi said you wanted to meet. You're planning a breakout. I want in. Otherwise, I spill everything to Bellic. <laughs> nice try, pal. Everyone in this joint has a plan to bust out. Why should I be any different? I know you're up to something. Beat it, fish. Time's up. Scram. Schofield and Burroughs are talking with Abruzzi. Maybe I can get something to report back to Mannix. The three of us are in this together. No, no, Bambino, that was not our agreement. I'm not teaming up with this idiot hothead. Shut your mouth, John. What are you gonna do? You wanna find out, huh? Hey, you dirtbag! Get back to the yard, now!
Jack, I'm certain. Schofield and Burroughs are planning a breakout. A brute sees in on it too. When? Don't know. Gotta be soon. Burroughs doesn't have much time. Okay, Paxson, change of plans. No more observe and report. Take any action to ensure Burroughs dies in the chair. Not by a guard, not by a shank, not in a riot. Stop him any way you can. Short of killing Burroughs. I'll do my best, but I'm still a fish in this tank. Just do it, or I'll come down there and do it myself. Focus on Burroughs. Focus on their plan. Guess what time it is? <laughs> Teach for tat. Let's take a look at you. What happened? <sighs> Cut myself shaving. Of course you did. Looks like it might be infected. We'll need to keep you overnight in sickbay. <gasps> Dr. Tancredi, need some help with Haywire. Can't keep anything down, huh? Yeah, he just started puking. One of Schofield's cranes and a setup to corrode the pipe. That's why Schofield's coming in here. This is the escape route. Paxton, move it, sick bay. I'm on it, boss. Just gotta tie my shoelaces. Hurry it up. Haywire has been sketching Schofield's tattoo. It's his escape plan. If I can get the rest of the drawings, I'll be able to stop Schofield in his tracks. I'd have machine guns for hand. That's not a superpower. You wouldn't need a superpower. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> you just carry two machine guns. A superpower is something you're born with. Like, you can fly, or your finger glow. What good is that? A glowing finger. You wouldn't need a flashlight to check up a con's ass. Knock it off, boys. This is a closed frequency. Find your own damn channel. Apologies, sir. Meet me outside, Moore. Cool. Right after I finish my round.
damn it. This prison's falling apart, man. Holy crap. What's that? What now? Hey, give me the floodlight. There's someone up here. Smith! Lights, I'm serious! <laughs> A mutated spider. Now that's what I expect. Superhuman strength, stamina, durability, agility, and you can climb anywhere you want. Beat that! You wanna be a freaking insect? Spiders aren't insects, you moron. Doesn't matter. One can of bug spray and you barely up. I'd rather be a guy made out of rocks. Yeah, that makes sense. You already got rocks in your head. They ain't kidding. Hey, what's gonna kill you? God damn it, shut up, Haywire! It's a man. Pets with hell. Freak show! Shut your pie hole or I'll shut it for you!
Look at it. Can't you see? Oh, now you piss me off for real. It's the road to hell. I know it. Well, I'll show you the road to hell. There's a map on his body. I've seen it. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? I should have gone to college. Officer, I appreciate your fast response, but it is clear we are dealing with a false alarm. Tell your men to stand down. Schofield set off the alarms just to see how the guards would respond. He must still be planning his route. I've got to get the prison blueprints and compare them to Haywire's drawings. Inmates in cell block have compromised lockdown and entered A-Wing. We are locking down A-Wing. You don't want to do this! It's a full-scale riot. Schofield might have started it as a cover for his breakout. I've got to find him and Burroughs. Back off, pigs! Who's the boss yeah! now? Please, I have a family. Don't! Please! Don't! Snipers, get down! You and who's 
army! Tear gas. Hello, milk chicken. Tea bag sends his regards. <laughs> The payback time! <laughs> You're the conductor? I don't think so. Retribution is mine, saith the Lord. Get him!
son of a bitch, man! Yo, you done yet? Help me pry this open. I've been waiting for this, homeboy. Patience is overrated. <sighs> Easy, big fella. Looks like you took a pretty good hit. Michael. Where's Michael? Haven't seen him since this thing started. I gotta find him. Paxton, come help me hold him down! The trick is the pressure. You need to push hard, but not too hard. You gotta be careful. One little slip, you hit the gas pipe. Gas pipe as in, uh... The pipe that carries the gas. They're drilling their way out. I gotta reach Burroughs and cut him off. You looking for Schofield? You know where he is? Follow me. Where did Link go? He slugged me and took off after Turk. Boiler room, down the stairs, go left. Yeah! Someone's gonna bleed. Somehow, I don't think so. Johnny, watch out! Get a little present from T-Bag! Jesus Christ, you killed him! Didn't have much choice. Stop. Don't, don't do it. Who are you? What do you want from me? Son of a bitch! 
Thanks, man. You saved my life. Did you see Burroughs? Down there in the boiler room. Why did you do this? Who sent you? You gotta help me. Please, talk. Kill Burroughs and Paxton? What the hell? Someone sent Turk in here to kill me and Burroughs. Makes no sense, but I'll work on it later. Gotta stop the escape first. Hey, you killed Johnny, you son of a bitch! Didn't think you could take me alone? Smart man. Chicken, chicken, chicken! <laughs> in me! Have a nice trip, Paxton. See you in the fall! <laughs> Ride's over, Paxton. You're going to the shoe. All inmates accounted for. Five dead, but no escapees.
I thought the riot was the prison break, but it was just a smokescreen to give Abruzzi and Sucre time to drill that wall. I've still got a little time. Maybe I can use it to figure out who hired Turk to kill me. Paxton, shoe time's over. Abruzzi needs your ass in P.I. Now! Here you go, John. I can't say I admire your taste. Tranquilo, boss. Hey, Paisano. Hey, John. The knife I got you. How'd it work out? Good. But I lost it. How? Uh, I left it in some guy's stomach. That's why you're here. They cleaned out the joint and now I've got nothing. Not even a toothpick. I'd be a lot more comfortable if I had some, you know, leverage. The sharp and pointy kind? Bravo. Exactamente. I can swing that, but I need your men to find out about a guy named Turk. I need to know his story. His story is he's dead. Beaten to a pulp in the boiler room. I read that chapter. I want to know if someone was running him. Okay, I will look into it. But in the meantime, take this ball from the yard benches and see if you can turn it into something a little more useful. Damn machine, the bomb could go off and I wouldn't hear it. Hey, shut it down! I can't hear a goddamn thing! Got it. I'll be right over. All I'm saying is the drill press was made in some Asian hellhole where they ate fish eyes for breakfast, and the only metal they got is leftover from old rice buckets. Well, that grinder over there is good old U.S. of A. American steel, and it ain't never gonna wear out. You can't tell me one ain't better than the other. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, I gotta go see the Pope, boys. <laughs> Must be getting a raise. be kidding me. God, goddamn piece of junk radio. I'm not a fool, Captain Bellick. Won't have my inmates fighting like pit bulls. Now shut it down. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. <clears throat> What's that on the wall? Blood? That's just red paint, Warden. That's all. Well, clean it up, Captain. And I don't just mean the paint. More, Williams, get to work. What's with the lights? Where's my flashlight?
What was that? The stump is falling apart. I'll check it out. Any luck? When you're as good as me, you don't need luck. Cocky, eh? I like that. I'll get back to you when I got that information about Turk. Thanks. Hey, hey, where are you going? You're on PI now. I gotta make a phone call. Maddox, it's Paxton. What the? Tom, are you right? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Schofield staged a riot, but it was just a smokescreen. For what? Abruzzi and Sucre are digging a hole under A-Wing. Damn. That ain't all. Their escape route leads through the infirmary. Schofield's been corroding a pipe there so he can get in through a drain, but I can't get to it. Okay, let me think. There's nothing you can do about the hole under A-Wing. But if you can't fix the pipe, maybe you can get someone to do it for you. How? Forge a work order for the repair. Maintenance will get in there and fix it. Easier said than done. I'd have to get into the warden's office. So stop talking and start doing. Hey, dog meat! Where's your PI uniform? To the locker room! On the double! Rap! I gotta run up to the warden's office. You take one step out of this room before I get back, and it'll be your ass. Mannix sounded strange on the phone, but his orders were pretty clear. I need to sneak into the warden's office and forge a work order. I don't frickin' believe it. They had to put this place in mothballs.
Hey, Roy, what's the score? We're down, 15. God damn it! I'm gonna lose my shirt. The warden will be with you in a moment, Captain. Okay, red and blue, I understand, but what's this green wire doing here? He's a good kid, Michael Schofield. I think so, too. Did you see what he did with the Taj? My wife will be over the moon. She's a lucky woman. Sir, Captain Bellick is waiting outside. Thanks, Becky. I'll talk with him in the hall. Uh, in the meantime, could you get me a cup of coffee? Certainly. Just leave it on my desk. It should only take a minute. Ready? A work order? Just sitting here? No wonder this place is falling apart. Uh, what a mess! I'll just put this in the closet. Becky, Captain Bellick's report's more complicated than I thought. Will you please come take notes for me? Uh, certainly, Warden. No sugar, no cream. Thanks, man. Nice outfit. You buy it off the rack? Now get your ass back to P.I.
Give this jerk off some work. He's been sitting around all day. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I would drop it. What do you mean? That guy, Turk, he's a ghost. There's nothing on him. It's like he's never existed. Three of my associates on the outside were clubbed like baby seals for just asking about him. So I don't want to push this any further. A deal's a deal. I got you the shank. Are you a man of your word or not? Madre di Dio. Okay. Look, listen. If you can get me the phone records for the past couple of weeks, maybe I can run through the numbers. See who he was calling. How do you know who's been using the phone? Hey, that's my business. I know everything that goes down in this yard. Okay, where can I find the records? They're on a computer in the storage facility. You can get in through the pump house, print out the records, and bring them back to me. Another break-in. But I gotta risk it if I want to find out who hired Turk to kill me and Burroughs. I'm open for business. Looking to earn. Let's go. You got game, you got the green, I got the ink. Hey, boss, how'd you like to see us kick this guy's ass? It might bring a little sunshine into an otherwise dreary day.
is it with you and Smith, man? Why don't you just ask the guy out and get it over with? Hey, Smith would kick your ass just for thinking that. He could do it, too. Shut up! How about you just do the work you paid for, Bataglia? Yes, sir. This is like an electrical freak show. Bataglia, go check it out. <sighs> Whatever you say. Ah, it's fine. Someone was just messing with the switches. Yeah, right. Is it ghost? David, what the hell is going on? Damn thing keeps going off all the time. I told Vitaglia to fix it a million times already. You can't just tell him to do it. You gotta make him do it. Okay, I'll handle it. Ah, goddamn computers are older than dirt, man. Anybody ever heard of a laser printer or what? Where do you want your stuff, man? In here, guys.
you doing? Uh, smart ass cops. Those, the phone records? Good. I'll get back to you in a couple of hours. So far, so good. Schofield and Burroughs are still on the inside, and soon I'll know who hired Turk to kill me. Mates, Paxton, you're coming with me. A brute wants to see you. Let me ask you a simple question. Are you a cop? <laughs> what? Be careful now. If you say yes, I will kill you. Because I hate cops. On the other hand, if you say no, you'll be lying. And the only thing I hate more than cops are lying cops. I don't know what you're talking about. I did a little checking on the numbers you called from the phone in the yard. Do you know? how I survived as the head of my family for so long because I trusted no one. But one day, I broke my own rule and made a deal with a cop that I'd known for years. He was on my payroll. He sat at my table and broke bread with me. I trusted him. He sold me out. You want to guess the cop's name? You piece of merda. Jack, lying son of a bitch, Mannix. Ring any bells? John, I swear. You lied to me, Paxton. You're Mannix boy. So now your days are over. Bobo, cut him up like you were back at the slaughterhouse. I don't want nothing left but pieces. My PI card fell under the grate. I'll have to come back for it after the heat dies down.
Captain Bellick? Who wants to know? I'm Agent Richardson. This is Agent Bates, Department of Corrections. Well now, what can I do for you? We've had several reports of anomalies here at Fox River. Electrical problems, water leaks, etc. We're here to survey the facility, determine if someone's been sabotaging your infrastructure. We need full access, and we need it now. This is totally unnecessary. I run a tight ship. Well, then you have nothing to worry about, Captain. Do you? Agent Paxton, I'm with the company. Agent Richardson, our superiors are getting very impatient. You've been in Fox River long enough to kill Lincoln Burroughs, but he's still alive. What seems to be the problem? Kill Burroughs? That's not my mission. Look, you think we sent you in here to socialize? Mannix sent in Turk to help you out, but he only got himself killed. Do your job, Paxton. Kill Lincoln Burroughs, and you can walk out of here. Otherwise, you'll be leaving in a box. Holy Christ! It's a brutey! Somebody cut his throat! Stay with me, John. I want you to stay with me. Everything's going to be okay. Gonna be okay. Everything has changed. The company wants Burroughs dead, but Mannix told me to keep him alive. He set me up from the start. Then he sent Turk in to kill me. The question is, why? I've got some dirt on him, but in this business, we all have dirt on each other. I guess the only way to find out is to complete the mission, kill Burroughs, and then get out and confront Mannix. Rise and shine, dirtbag. You got a visitor from the FBI. What? You play games, Paxton. Not me, boss. Now swim along, guppy. I'll be outside, agent. Hi, Tom. Burroughs. Aldo, what the hell are you doing here? It's my boys, Michael and Link. The company's coming after them to try and flush me out of hiding. You knew what you were risking when you left the company, Aldo. I thought I was risking my life, not theirs. You're the only one who can save them, Tom. I'm supposed to kill Link, not save him. Anything else and I sign my death warrant. Your death warrant's already signed. What? You're not leaving here alive. The company's sending Mannix here to kill Lincoln. After that, you're expendable. And you know what that means. That's why I'm asking for your help. Michael and Link are breaking out. You help them, and they'll help you. But then what? If the company wants me dead, I won't be any safer on the outside. It won't be you who's out there. I'll erase all your company files. It'll be like you never existed. You'll be a free man. On the run, but free. Okay, I'll do it. I'm gonna need the prison blueprints, and now's my best chance to get them. Help me up through the ceiling and cover for me while I'm gone.
You suck, Orwell. Oh, can you do any better? Well, it sounds like you're strangling a cat. I took lessons for 10 years. It'll come back to me. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> yeah, riding a bike over a cat. And what do you know about music anyway? Enough to know when it sucks. Okay, let me ask you this. What's the difference between A major and A minor? Well, that's easy. A major is a guy you gotta salute, and A minor is an underage chick. You screw with one, he gets you in trouble. You screw with the other, you get her in trouble. Okay, maestro. You come on over here and play something. All right. Well, what the hell are all these buttons? I thought this thing was like a piano. <laughs> Beethoven is rolling over in his grave right now. Well, he can't hear anything, stupid. He's dead. You left the lights on in the archive room. No way. Well, they're on now. Wait, I'm, I'm coming up. I gotta go to the can. Okay, be quick about it. I want to check this place out. Damn it, Orwell, quit fooling around. Hey, it wasn't me. The lights went out, went out by themselves. And I'm the king of China. Just turn them back on, will you? I'm not done in here. Here it is.
Thank God. Hurry. Time's up, Agent. Hello? Almost done, Captain. One more minute. You got him? Yep. And we got a deal, right? I help your boys, you destroy my company records. Count on it. Rules are rules. Visit's over. Back to your cell, Paxton. The escape starts in Schofield's cell and runs through the sewers. I gotta get into his cell to see how he's gonna get out. Plus, I gotta get a guard's uniform and stash it in the sewers. I don't know what those guys are planning, but it can't hurt to be wearing a guard's uniform during a manhunt. We gotta solve the problem. Schofield's in the loony bin. The last thing that we can do now is panic, man. Oh, it's panic time, all right. Gary's auctioning off his cell. Look, if we lose that cell, we lose our way out. It's gonna be expensive. How can we raise the money, hmm? I'll get the uniform later. Schofield's in the asylum, and I need to be the guy who gets his cell. Next stop, Officer Geary. Punch! Punch! Come on, punch it! Punch! Come on, punch it! Block! Come on, punch it! Block! Punch! Come on, punch it! Block! Come on, punch it! Punch! Block! Come on, punch it! Punch! Come on, punch it! Boss, I hear you got some prime real estate to move. Looking to relocate, are ya? How much? Five hundred. What? How am I supposed to get that kind of dough? Hey, not my problem. But you're good with your mitts. Why not use them for something other than scratching your ass? You better move fast, though. I got other bids coming in. Hey, King, I need a fight. Got an arsonist in B-Wing looking for some action. Hundred bucks? No small time crap. I need to pull down half a grand and I need it fast. Huh. You want to earn that big, you need a fight with a lot of action on it. Only one way to get it. Take on Bellic. Fight one of the bulls. Not a bull. The bull. No one's fought Bellic in over a year. How come? Cause he fights hard, he fights dirty, and he don't never lose. Just my kind of guy. Sign me up. <laughs> okay, champ.
some grass. 500 bones. <laughs> Good work. New house rules, scumbags. The rent's gone up. Hand over the dough. <coughs> what the hell, boss? Beat it! All of you, now! If I was you, I'd sneak into the break room and steal that money right back from his locker. You heard the man. New house rules. You're the king, king. You say you're innocent? Absolutely. Hey, the safe took longer than I thought, the bitch was supposed to be out of town, and I didn't know the gun was loaded. Hey, how is that supposed to be my fault? Yeah, good point, my man. Say, Davis, hey, you know how the inmates are all the time talking on the phone to their girlfriends? Yeah, so? Yeah, so, uh, so how come they all say they're in Iraq instead of Fox River? You come home to a girl, which is gonna get you laid? Being a war hero or an ex-con?
Here you go, 500 bucks. Now give me the damn cell. Jeez, Paxton, what you do? Fight all of A-Wing? Cell's yours, pal. Schofield's cell is all mine now. So next up is stealing a guard's uniform from the laundry. going laundry detail not without a badge beat it Stupid made in Taiwan piece of junk. I need a photo ID, and the only one I got is in the boiler room drain. That does it. I'm writing this one up formal. We gotta get us a new electrician.
Hey, you! Over there! Check the upper left valve, will ya? Upper left... Uh, yeah, what about it? What about it? Read the numbers, you moron! 5300 and something. And something what? Uh, 50... 5350. Yeah, good point, my man. Are you crazy? Get caught here without P.I. gear, and you'll get three weeks in the shoe. I'll distract the guards. You make a run for it. Thanks, Pops. Boss! Boss! My left arm hurts like hell! I, I think it's a heart attack! Hold on, Charles! Call Dr. Tancredi! Get to work! I've got the uniform. Time to stash it in the sewers. Fresh linens for the kitchen, boss. Keeping your white stay white as Paxton? Follow me. Go on in. It's about time, inmate. Hand it over.
Your time is over! Line it up! Look who's here, my best customer. You all comfy now, huh? Tucked away in Schofield's cell? Schofield found a way out behind the cell toilet. But before I leave Fox River, I want to get rid of any evidence I was ever here. That means destroying my prison records. What's the matter, Paxton? Can't sleep? Must be something I ate. Next time, try ordering from a different menu. Cable? Somebody should fix that. Sure. Hold on a second, will you? Sorry, thought I heard something. <laughs> yes. Uh huh.
have any time this century? Keep your shirt on. I'm coming. Stop right there! But for Down home, on your please. knees! Don't shoot! Don't shoot me! I've destroyed my prison records and Aldo is erasing my company files. I'm the man who doesn't exist. The ghost in the system. When Mannix comes to get Burroughs, I'll be ready for him. I have a message for you. It says, you're all clear on the outside, and it's signed, a friend. Thanks, Charles. My company records have been erased. Aldo kept his promise. Oh my god! I... Brucey is back! He's alive! Oh, there's gonna be blood! Lots of blood! You're a dead man, Mannix. First you, then your ass-kisser, Paxton. Stuff it, Tulio. One step closer and I'll kill you right here. Cut the chatter, ladies. Move it up, Brucey. This one's with me. Mannix is heading to the shoe to kill Burroughs. I've got to stop him. Something you won't?
We can talk in here. Where's Lucy? What are you doing with my daughter? Calm down. I need you to take me to Lincoln Burrows. But where's Lucy? How do I know she's safe? Who are you people? Just take me to Burrows and everything will be okay. I don't want anything to happen. Shut it! Your child is in a safe place. The best way to help her is to do as you're told. Somebody's coming, let's go. Bastard. I'm not asking for the cure for cancer, Brad. This fighting has got to stop. Uh, I'll find out who's behind this, sir. <clears throat> I promise. I don't want promises. I want answers. Yes, sir. What are you looking at, morons? Clean this mess up! Right away, sir. You need me? I'll be in the break room. How long you think before Pope figures out Bellick is behind all this? The smart money says two weeks, if not sooner.
The game's about to start. You coming? Yeah, be right there. I just have to let Burroughs know he's being moved. Okay, I'll wait for you. Burroughs! Yeah? Escort's coming to take you to the infirmary. Hey, Smith, the game's on. You coming or not? I'm coming! I've waited all season for this rematch. This is Warden Pope. Captain Bellick has gone AWOL. Is he there in the shoe? No, sir. Haven't seen him all day. Wait, I'll ask Smith. Hey, Smith, you seen Brad around? Uh, nope. No, sir. He's not here. Okay, thanks. If you see him, please tell him to report to my office immediately. See your prayers, Burroughs. Forget it, Maddox. I was gonna do Burroughs first, but I'm flexible! Let's see what you got! All right, Burroughs. Stand clear of the door. We're taking you to the infirmary. This is an over, Paxton. Count on it. Sorry, no room on the bus, pal.
Come on! Come on! Give it up, Paxton. You can't win. I have all the cards. You don't give up, do you, Paxton? Why'd you set me up? You knew too much. Knew about my days with the mob. You became a liability. is getting away! I don't have time for this! But it was never about Lincoln or even national security, was it, Mannix? The whole frame-up, it was just a trick to get Aldo out of hiding so you could protect the company! Aldo Burroughs is a traitor! He must be stopped! Good luck with that. How's it working for you so far? You're gonna die now, Poxer! How's that working for you? Getting away! My name is 
is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead.